Hi guys, it's James from Advanced. We have been working on today 2020 or 21 uh, T6.1, VWT 6.1. This, um, this van has come into us for a Westphalia factory spec tow bar with dedicated vehicle electronics, which we're gonna show you. It's removable. We only do this particular tow bar because you then get seamless integration with the vehicle. Um, it's already got rear factory sensors as well as front. We've also got a Highline reversing camera. Um, so it integrates beautifully in with that. And if you don't go for the vehicle dedicated electrics, you won't get this type of operation, but we'll show you that in a second. Okay, so those of you that have watched our videos, you can see that we only do this Westphalia removable tow bar because it just works and it's just awesome. So you put the key in, you get two of these keys, you put it in, you twist, and then when you're ready to remove, you just pull the little wheel out and you turn. When you turn it, it locks it into the position. And as you, Tim can see, show you there, it's locked open. And then you put it in a little bag and it stays in like so. Now you do also have a dust cap and the dust cap goes inside here and it stops any dirt um, and mud and other bits and pieces getting inside here and then the electrics. Now with the T6.1, because the bumper is so small and such a low profile, the electrics have been fitted this way and that's how they come from factory. We don't get any choice, they're pre-drilled holes so that, that way you can actually reach down and do the uh, plug in the, the towing socket like so. Um, depending on what you've gone for, so this is a seven pin. Seven pin is for your boats, your trailers, your um, bike, rack, uh, bike racks and bits and pieces like that. But you can opt for the 13 pin for accessory and caravan charging as well. Okay, so let's pop it back in. When you're ready, simple enough, line up the tow bar, pop it in, job done. Turn the key, key comes out and you put your little dust cap over your key holder like so. So in a minute, we're just gonna plug in the electric, um, the light bar to show you how it all works. Right, so let's just pop the ignition on. Uh, the T6.1, the radios vary. So this is relatively entry level radio system uh, with the SD card, DAB radio, Bluetooth, that kind of thing. So you've got your parking sensors button down here, which means that you've got from factory, front and rear. If it just had the rears, you wouldn't have the parking button. So when I press the parking button like so, you get the full on display for the reversing camera. Um, and if it was detecting anything, you'd get the front beeps and the lines and the, and the same with the back here. If you want to, you can just turn that off. Um, because I don't have the engine run, let's just turn that on. So I can move in guidelines. Now, as I said, this is a relatively entry level radio system. So with this, it means that the screen resolution isn't as good as you'd normally have it. This is for aiming and uh, lining up for a trailer. You've then got your front and rear factory parking sensors, why you'd want to go to that screen when you've got your parking uh, camera anyway. And then up here, you've got your more interactive. So we get rid of that, like so. Now, what we're gonna do is I'll get Richard to plug in the trailer board, and then we can show you some uh, features and functions of the trailer board. Right, so we've got the engine running, we've got the trailer board plugged in, ready to go, our test thing, uh, and I'm gonna pop it into reverse or we could just press the parking button. So if we pop it into reverse, you'll see that we've now got the trailer logo on the back here, and if we hit the full screen sensors, um, you'll see that the car and the, or the vehicle is interacting with the tow bar electrics that we've installed today, which means that the rear OPS optical parking system is null and void, it's deactivated, but the front is still live and that will otherwise annoy you if you're carrying bikes all the time. So if we take it out of there, pop it back into here. Also on your instrument cluster, you don't really get a great deal of stuff, but you do if you're indicating left or right, you will get this extra um, symbol or notification to remind you that you've got your trailer board and it's the same indicating right or left. Now you can see in the image of the camera, we've got our trailer board. Uh, let me just put it back into park, put the parking display back on, and you can see my foot on the brakes. And you can see our hazard lights, uh, like so. So we test all of these, we plug in the um, trailer board, we've 
plugged in the dedicated, we fitted all the dedicated wiring to the body control module, the BCM, and we integrate it and we code it with our computer to say that it's all factory gear. So if you've got a vehicle like this, you want a removable tow bar so that you don't see it when it's not in use, please get in touch with us. We do the West Valley range. There are a few others depending on your vehicle and whether it's compatible, but get in touch with us. It's Advanced In Car Technologies. Website is www.advanced-in-car.co.uk. As always, thank you for watching.